What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So what do you do if you had a loss of power and your computer no longer works? That's a great question. What do you do? So I had that same question. Uh, basically, I was the uh, reason for the power loss. I was working on my kitchen. I was moving electrical plugs and adding plugs. I went and shut the power off for the kitchen circuit. I didn't realize this room was attached to the kitchen circuit. This was on, it was downloading a game, and uh, power went out. So once I realized it, I came in here, pushed the power button, turned it back on, and this is what I was getting. So I would get Republic of Gamers on the screen, and I would get this little spinny thing at the bottom, and it would just sit there and spin and spin and spin and spin, and nothing would happen. So I did what I usually do in that scenario, is I grabbed my Windows 11 Home thumb drive. I unplugged everything except for, you know, the, the important things, like mouse, keyboard, monitor. I put it into the, the fastest USB port that I had, booted the computer back up again, went into BIOS, and tried to boot it from the Windows 11 thumb drive. And all of a sudden I get this blue screen and it says preparing or it was initializing or something. I don't know. It was preparing for something, right? But it just sat there and said that for, you could sit there for three days. It wasn't booting. So I literally couldn't get this computer to boot anything. So it's like I go on the online forums and it just makes you want to pull your hair out because it's like oh your motherboard's fried yeah no it's your processor no it's your graphics card no it's your power supply you know what i mean it's like oh god that's gonna get expensive quick you know what i mean and yes i did have a battery backup but it died it wasn't big enough for this computer because it's a thousand watt freaking monster and uh yeah i just haven't gotten around to it because they're expensive but lesson learned I'm going to get a power uh, battery backup immediately. But I built this computer uh, back in 2021, summer of 2021. I'm not a computer expert. You know, my stepfather, I learned off of him when I was a kid. He used to break my computer all the time, watch him fix it, upgrade it, do all kinds of stuff. And I learned from, from him, you know, doing, doing this stuff as a kid. So I had enough knowledge to buy all of these parts stick it together make it run you know i i know enough to be dangerous but i i am not a computer tech by any means i did i spared no expense on parts you know this is an asus republic of gamers uh motherboard i have a ryzen 9 i believe it's a, a 16 core 32 thread uh an rtx 3070 tough gaming we have a uh, crucial ballistics max i don't know if it's ddr5 or ddr6 i forget forgive me but it was like a grand for four sticks i i remember specifically it was a thousand dollars just for the ram two sticks was 500 bucks got four in there i maxed everything out i have 10 terabytes two m.2 hard drives directly on the motherboard one is for windows one is for youtube then i have three other uh two terabyte ssd hard drives there's two in the back and there's one under here and we couldn't get this sucker to boot so i i brought my stepfather over and he kind of helped me out and basically this is what he said and this is what we did if you have this issue you basically it's like you're starting over you want to unplug literally everything everything except for what you think you need to get the computer to turn on so the three SSD hard drives that I have one under here and two back here I unplug the power I unplug the data cables just deleted those from the equation that's my Windows M.2 there and that's the YouTube one down there. So I had to take the graphics card out and I pulled out the YouTube M.2 hard drive 
and all we had was the C drive for Windows and the graphics card. You know, only plugged in the monitor, keyboard, and mouse. That's it. And then we, we turned it on. And then all of a sudden, you know, now it said uh, it was doing a Republic of Gamers. It was repairing. It said repairing something. It said repairing something, right? And then it started to do the spin spin a thing, and then boom, we were in Windows. And I'm like, what? You've got to be freaking kidding me. It was that simple. So, I still don't know if anything's blown. I'm praying to God it's not my YouTube hard drive. If it's one of the gaming hard drives, I, I could care less. You know, those those were n not not as expensive as these other hard drives. So, what we've done so far is, just like I said, we stripped everything out. Just, just the Windows hard drive, powered it on, it worked. So now, what I'm going to do is I've already put the YouTube hard drive back in. But the gaming ones are still unplugged. So we're gonna basically plug one hard drive in at a time, power it on. If it works, we'll plug in another one. Power it on, if it works, we'll plug in another one. And hopefully, we can get to the end and they're all still working. That would be, that'd be great. But uh, if, if it does not turn on right now with my, hard, my YouTube hard drive, I am going to be absolutely mortified. A countless countless freaking hours I think I have some of it backed up but I don't know if I have it all backed up oh I am so nervous right now please please boot up but pretty much that's the uh, the process I guess is if, if your computer's broken and and see this is the thing we thought it was the power supply first oh god look is it gonna go yes yes so the first thing my stepfather thought it was was the power supply so when he got here we were going to take this apart and test the cables coming from the power supply but with a Republic of Gamers computer, in the beginning you can press F2, F2 or delete, and go into the BIOS. And the BIOS will actually show you the voltages. So you don't even have to go and test them individually. It shows you right in the BIOS, which is beautiful. So it saved that step. All right, so now, now that we have that, let me flip this up and let's, let's, let's plug in one more hard drive. So I do my absolute best to take care of this. You know, it's not on the floor. It's elevated up. You know, I try to keep this room clean, vacuum regularly. Yes, the rug is kind of an issue, uh, but it's a temporary thing until I have the money to get a new floor and run it into this room, hardwood, or just a uh, wood lookalike, but not, not carpet. Carpet is the worst, uh, especially for an office. But uh, yeah, I thought I had another hard drive in here, I don't. So it's eight terabytes, not 10. These are both, there's two solid state drives there. I remember I had a, a drawer that I could slide in here at the bottom and get one extra one there. And then there's two spots right in here. One there and one there. I could add two addition, additional ones in there if I wanted to, but I really have no need for that. But I'm kind of glad that I've uh, pulled this apart and started shining in here with a flashlight because this thing looks like it is due for a deep clean. Like a complete dismantle, completely dismantle it, wash and clean everything, dust everything out, wipe it all down, and reheat heat sink everything processor just put in new heat sinks and really get in there good and clean it but we're gonna start i guess we'll, we'll plug in this bottom one boot it back up if it works we'll plug in the top one and boot it again all right another hard drive plugged in 
I mean, that would kind of make sense, right? I was downloading and installing a game when the power went out. So possibly it's one of those hard drives that's uh, affecting it. Dude, straight in. That was a fast boot too. Uh-oh. It's not shutting down. It booted up. But now it's having trouble shutting down. That might be the problem. It might be that hard drive right there. Okay. So we're going to force a shutdown. And we're going to unplug that one and plug in the other one. All right, here we go. Bottom one is unplugged. Top one is plugged in now. Which those are just, uh, those were put in there for gaming. And I've only really filled one. I haven't even filled it. The other one's just been sitting there doing nothing, really. So. Alright, let's go into Windows. And then we're going to shut down. And if it shuts down... We're going to plug in that other one one more time just to make sure and if the computer screws up after I plug that in again then we know that we blew one of the SSD hard drives. Alright let's see I mean that's pretty crazy though that's that's all you need to do you know if your computer it's just it's just freezing and it's not doing anything is just start unplugging hard drives Un unplug stuff anything that's not necessary get rid of it just delete it from the equation it's booting up now okay If this shuts down, then I would say we're good, but I'm going to run some software checks. Oh, and would you look at that. That hard drive is toast. Well, there's the issue, guys. Confirmed, and it makes perfect sense because, and I double checked, this is my gaming hard drive, right? Computer was downloading and installing a game onto this hard drive and I flipped the breaker. Boom. Fried. The other hard drives that weren't doing anything didn't get fried. This one did. So, yeah, I mean, if you're watching this video, obviously, <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a power supply and you probably didn't either. But this is an important lesson to be learned here. You know, I didn't want to spend the money because uh, I have tenant issues right now. I don't know if I have to go through an eviction or not. I need to be careful on my spending. You know, I'm trying to remodel my kitchen. I got all kinds of things going on. I need to be careful. So I didn't want to spend the 200 bucks on a power supply that can run this. But now I'm spending 450. Because not only is the hard drive blown, but I need a, I actually need to buy the battery backup and the battery for the laptop won't hold a charge anymore I've noticed you know this thing's like three years old I don't use it hardly ever it just sits in a Faraday bag but the battery went bad so yep 450 bucks gone so hopefully that's helpful I mean get a battery backup but if you came to this video because you're having the same problem uh, that's that's the key right there is to just eliminate everything that's not crucial for the computer to start up 
all hard drives, unplug anything that's unnecessary, and get down to the bare bones. RAM, C drive with Windows or Linux or whatever you have, graphics card, monitor, keyboard, mouse. That's it. Start from there. If it boots up, then start plugging things in one at a time. And you saw, like as soon as I plug this one in, we had major issues. So yeah, anyways, hopefully that's helpful. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. You probably won't subscribe. Most of you don't, but do it anyway. See you later.